how to add PayPal gateway in WordPress. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add PayPal payment gateway in WordPress. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to come over here onto your WordPress dashboard. Now there are a couple of ways to do this. The most simplest and easiest method, I'm going to tell you the first one. So we want to go into plugins, go to add new plugins. And once you're over here into the plugins section or the plugin store, you want to search for PayPal. And the easiest method is you want to select WooCommerce PayPal. Let me go ahead and search for that WooCommerce. And over here, you will see you have WooCommerce PayPal payment. Now this is the one that we want. Uh, it is by WooCommerce as well. So you want to get this. There's also a payment plugin for PayPal WooCommerce. So keep that in mind. But yeah, generally speaking, this is the most easiest PayPal plugin that you want. You would also need to get WooCommerce for this. So keep that in mind. So you got to install WooCommerce and set it up. Now, this is not going to be free. There is a subscription plan for WooCommerce. So you have to have a you know subscription plan for WooCommerce. And then you can go ahead and activate PayPal. So once it's installed and activated, we will go ahead and install the other one. So over here, you have to set it up right here. So set up my store. I'm just starting. And then you just fill out this form. And then you can go ahead and install like these free plugins, but it depends on you. I don't really need all of them. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and click on continue and we are good to go. And here we are. So now what you need to do is you want to go back into the plugin store, go to add new plugin and install the payment version. So we'll just search for PayPal. And now that we have this, we can go ahead and install the WooCommerce PayPal. There you go. Now we'll activate it and we are good to go. So right here, you can see it WooCommerce PayPal payments. So what you want to do is click on settings and in settings, you will need to upgrade your account as you can see right here. But over here in PayPal, uh, what you want to do is you want to click on activate PayPal, right? Uh, you can go ahead and select the standard processing uh, card and then just simply click on activate PayPal. And over here, you need to sign in with your PayPal account. And that's it. After that, you should be good to go once you log in with your PayPal account. But yeah, other ways that you can do this is by adding other, uh, you know, payment method, such as if you go into add new plugin, you can search for PayPal over here, PayPal, like so. And all of these will require you to have a PayPal account. Now, I myself don't have a PayPal account, but it works just the same. So if I wanted to, let's say, add a Stripe account, and you can choose any of these uh, PayPal plugins as well, and they will work fine. Uh, same with Stripe as well. If you go with Stripe, then you got to go ahead and install this one right here, payment plugin for Stripe. And again, set that up as well. And here, just simply install the payment plugins and you should be good to go. Now, if you want to go ahead and install the PayPal settings, we go into settings, go into payments. Over here, you have a bunch of different options to choose from. So you can see you have direct bank transfer, check payments, cash on delivery, PayPal, all of these, right? So you can go ahead and install any of these and they will work fine. So for example, let's say you want to select PayPal, right? You got to finish that setup. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can either go ahead and, you know, toggle to manual credential input. For that, you have to, of course, manually input it. And if you select activate PayPal, it'll pop up. It'll give you the uh, pop up where you can add in your PayPal account information and sign in. If you don't have a PayPal account, you can just simply go over to their website, PayPal and sign up for free and you are good to go. Now, PayPal does operate in 200 countries, but unfortunately, my country is not one of them. So I can't create an account, but you can and it's pretty easy. So after that, you just simply go ahead and uh, turn on the PayPal button and it will allow you to have the PayPal uh, payment option within your store. Now, in this example, I'm just simply going to go ahead and select direct payment transfer because that would work as well. And in this payment instructions, I can add my own instructions and then I will add my account. I would add my account number, my bank name, short code, IBAN, Swift code and account name. And after once it's done, whenever someone makes a payment, right, they would add my bank account into their accounts and they will send the money to them. So it's a little bit longer process, but it works. So keep that in mind. And of course, there are many, many more options right here. So you can see we have almost, I don't know, 
20 30 payment options to choose from so you can see most of them are stripe so sepa stripe multi banko stripe eps stripe so they're mostly stripe payments except for a few one but yeah there's bank transfer there's cash payment cash on delivery and then after that it's just uh stripe payment so and then finally at the bottom we also have another stripe payment method so keep that in mind but once it's done you should be good to go after that people can just simply come over to your store buy the product and pay using one of these methods and of course, in order to do all of that, you also need to, you know, fill out your sales and tax settings as well. So make sure you input all of your tax configurations over here. So make sure you add in your store, uh, country, street address, postal code, town, and you're good to go. And click on configure to configure tax rates. And here you have to insert all of your tax, uh, you know, information. So you got to insert row. And over here, you add in your country code, your state code, postal code, city, your tax rate and priority, and you should be good to go. If you ha already have a CSV file, you can import it from here. But yeah, most, and then you got to also uh, set up your shippings as well, because that is also very important. It's going to dictate whether or not, you know, how much rate you're going to get, what type of, uh, you know, shipping methods are available in your country and all of that, and what type of payment processes are available as well. So it's a whole process so make sure you do all of that and you should be good to go but yes at the end of the day it's uh totally up to you the process is very simple just make sure to add the woocommerce plugin of course uh you're gonna have to have a paid plan as well if you actually want to set up payments you're gonna have to upgrade your plan because some of these uh settings require you to have a paid plan and in order to you know activate your account you need to have a paid plan so make sure you upgrade your woocommerce plan and wordpress account as well and you should be good to go so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to help you out in any way i can as soon as possible and also be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video. Your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day so don't worry about it so having said that thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time take care and goodbye